Uh, coming up, we're getting the band back together again. Scarecrow Joe. St. Louis's uh, local band scene, Scarecrow Joe. Every Thursday we get a local band, and KTRS does more for local music than all the other radio stations here in town combined, and we're proud of it. Scarecrow Joe band coming up here in just a couple minutes. But first, there is a new exhibit coming up to the St. Louis Holocaust Museum. Dan Rich and Diane Everman. Uh, uh, Dan and Diane, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. It's a pleasure Thank to you. be here. Dan, let's first start with you. You're the curator and the director of education at the St. Louis Holocaust Museum. A lot of people don't even know Oh, St. Louis has a Holocaust Museum. Well, that's one of the reasons we're very excited about this show. We heard that a show of Nazi propaganda was coming from Washington to the History Museum. We thought this was a great opportunity for people to know that there is one of about 20 Holocaust Museums here in St. Louis. And uh, also, we realized that in our archives, we had just incredible, interesting, wonderful artifacts. Right and decided to put on a show. How long has the St. Louis Holocaust M Museum been in St. Louis? We are celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. We are Department of St. Louis Jewish Federation, but uh, we bring in about 30,000 visitors a year, huh. mostly uh, middle school and high school students sure. and adults uh, to see our exhibits. Where, where is the St. Louis Holocaust Museum? I'm sorry, That's Kelly. Okay. Number 12, Millstone Campus Drive in Creve Coeur. It's a block west of Lindbergh and a block north of Olive. Where do you get many of your artifacts then? Well, our artifacts, and Diane can talk more about this as our archivist, but they came from survivors who settled in our community, about 300 plus veterans who fought in the war, who brought interesting things back with them that were very important to them from their war service, and then things we've just acquired. Mm -hmm. Some of the material actually comes also from um, people whose parents were in Germany during the war, and they didn't want them in the house anymore. Um, mm -hmm. One woman even wrote that it was like a beating heart and she wanted it gone, so she donated it to the um, museum. They, they couldn't handle it in their house. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. it was like radioactive. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Well, a lot of times, uh, again, grandpa fought in the war right. or came across this. It meant a lot to him. He passed away. They don't really want it. They right. don't want it to fall into the wrong hands. But they don't know what to do with it. Right. So our archives is yeah. a great place for material like that. All right. Tell us about this uh, Nazi propaganda exhibit that's uh, debuting April 14th here in town. So we went through all of our material and decided that we had enough to do about four different major categories of these artifacts. Uh, uh, vilifying the Jews, obviously a big topic. Um, indoctrinating a nation, which is about uh, things like uh, Hitler Youth and the women's groups and those sorts of things. Um, misleading the people, uh, disinformation, um, those kinds of items. Um, we have some very interesting artifacts. In fact, uh, one of my favorite are these little miniature books. They're about um, two inches by two inches. They were done for the, uh, war, the winter relief effort in Germany. Um, so these were premiums that were given out to people who wanted to donate. Now that makes it sound like it was all a voluntary effort, but it really wasn't. Yeah people really had to um, donate to get these. And the idea was to collect all gazillion of them. Um, so they are these wonderful little miniature books and they fit perfectly in little people's hands. So it's mm. that idea of promoting propaganda um, ideas it's for so, it's small people. It's so interesting because you'll be able to see the sleight of hand, it sounds like, yes. that just shaded it just enough because we see it at the end. Oh my goodness, how could you? But we didn't see the road to the end. That's right. And so it just, those little shades, those little nicks, those little, wait a minute, all of a sudden here, and then that leads to the road to the terrible things. That's right. definitely one of the uh, main points of our exhibit and probably our permanent exhibit as well. But certainly the concept of propaganda and misinformation and really encouraging people to question where where is your information coming from right. is certainly a lesson we can learn from the history, but it's very relevant to our time today. Yeah. 
Yeah. No. Uh, it's it's 1936 is not the history. It's the present in a sense. Yeah. Uh, all right. How do we get tickets? Where do we go? What's the website? It's all free. Uh, everything is free. Uh, come out to the um, museum at any time. It's in the atrium of the Coppolo building, which is part of the Jewish Federation. Um, we're open Monday through Friday and then again on Sunday afternoons. Yeah, We are closed on Saturday, but again, all of our exhibits and uh, work teacher workshops, everything we do is free of, of cost. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, go ahead. Uh, this exhibit is officially going to open this Tuesday, mm -hmm. the 14th of April. There's going to be a very interesting lecture by Dick Weiss, who deals a lot with media, who's going to sure. talk about, uh, he'll be our keynote speaker, about how influential or how easily children especially could be influenced. If you can convey these concepts to children, it's very hard to unlearn mm. that which mm -hmm. you've taught to children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he'll be discussing that. But anyone who wants more information about the museum or the exhibit can call 314-442-3711. And what's the website? hmlc.org. H-L-M. H-M. H-M-L-C. H-M-L-C. Dot org. Holocaust Museum and Learning Center. Dot org hmlc.org april 14th it's a new exhibit on nazi propaganda in the do we say the 20th anniversary right it's the yeah. 20th anniversary of the museum again we've been very eager to spread the word that this wonderful resource is here in the st louis community free and open to the public and no excuse not to go take advantage of another mm -hmm. great resource here in st louis dan rich diane everman thank you very much for coming in thank great you. stuff thank, thank you. you you got it Nine twenty nine here traffic weather sports and then we got the scarecrow joe band that's our live music segment today coming up next big 550